Hello and welcome to Chart of the Day Cafe for Tuesday, May 30th, 2017. Just want to read our disclaimer quickly. Trading stocks is a high level of risk and viewers should complete their own due diligence on any stock or underlying that they intend to own. 100% of the content of this video and communique is intended for journalistic and educational purposes only. This video and all indicators, strategies, and articles herein should not be construed as investment advice. Not making any recommendations, always for your further homework. Hope you had a great weekend. It was a long weekend in the States, so a shortened trading week this week with only four days. And only two days left in the month to determine the shape and size of our candle for the month of May. So going to be watching that pretty carefully. But with that, let's get into today's video. Regular viewers well know we always start our videos off with a look at the Russell Index. I use the Russell as a simple proxy for the markets overall because I want to keep these videos short, ideally under 10 minutes. Um, and so I use the Russell as my guide for the markets overall. We always step back to take a look at the bigger time frame, and for that we use the IWM, which is the ETF that represents the Russell 2000, and we step back to take a look at it on a five-year monthly time frame. We've been paying particular attention to this wedge pattern that's shaping up here. Here's the candle so far for the month of May, slightly red. The futures this morning look to be somewhat lower, so we'll see how the next two days affect the shape of our candle. I just think it's worth keeping an eye on because the candles of late on the monthly chart haven't shown a lot of direction, right? So they've been kind of wonking around where the market's been trading a little bit sideways, as you can see. So the month of May, I think, will be an interesting one to indicate to us which way this market might want to go. This is our longer term area of support, this light blue shaded line, but for now we're really just paying attention to this area. So I'm going to move it away from the five year monthly to the one year weekly so we can blow up this area and take a look at it on a closer time frame. So last week uh, we had a white candle, somewhat bullish with a, a wick. Um, so the uptrend and the market uh, strength is continuing ever so slightly. So we want to see how this week shapes up, whether we get a continuation of this trend and a move up towards our upper black line. So this is the same black line that we saw on the monthly chart. And you can see that when the Russell gets up to that area, it seems to lose a bit of strength and weaken. It did it here. It did it here. These are the weekly candles, keep in mind. So we're keeping an eye to see which way this market wants to go this week. Let's pull it away from the weekly to the three month daily. Here's the daily chart, same lines, same black trend line up here and orange area of support. You can see that price on the Russell is ever so slightly up and over our eight day EMA. So I will be putting a new chart forward this morning. And so the new name we're gonna to add to our watch list this morning is Barrick Gold Corporation, ticker symbol ABX, trades on the New York Stock Exchange. This one is dual listed, so it also uh, is listed on the Toronto Exchange, but we are going to be looking at it on the U.S. side. Before I get into the chart, let me tell you a little bit more about the company. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with Barrett Gold. It is a major gold producer and miner in Canada. You know what, Chart of the Day Cafe, it is all about value and growth, so Barrick Gold has a very nice high value score. Second thing I look for is growth. And Barrick Gold has a current forecasted earnings growth rate of 35%. That's a really nice high number. Third thing I look for, which is not a must like value and growth, but in this case it's there, is a dividend yield. It has a very slight dividend of 0.98%. Current PE of 16.22. So with that, let's get into the chart. We're looking at the two-year weekly chart. First thing I want you to notice is the uptrend that is in on the two-year weekly and sitting at an area that may offer some possible support. We will see. I'm going to move it away from the two-year weekly to the nine-month daily. So you can see it's had a little double touch of our trend line. At Chart of the Day Cafe, it is all about price being up and over this blue line. We use the blue line as our guide, which is the eight-day EMA. We want to see the three cross the eight. So the three EMA cross the eight. I'm going to zoom it in a little bit and put that study on so I can show you. We want to see lift off of this area, so too early yet. Uh, lift and the pink cross the blue like this. That's what we look for. I know everyone has their own way of doing things, but um, that keeps you out of 
uh, things that are going down and gold is controversial. You don't know whether it's going to go up or down, but I like the look of this chart and, um, and uh, the fundamentals underneath it. Along with our individual watch list pick, we also like to look at the sector that it's in. So we're taking a look at GLD, which is the ETF for gold. Like Barrick, you can see that overall, this is the two-year weekly chart. It's in an uptrend and showing some price strength here with price up and over the eight-day EMA on the weekly chart. We also like to take a look at Finviz to see if we can find any recent upgrades. And sure enough, RBC Capital Markets recently upgrade Barrick to outperform. Um, Gold is a little bit controversial, but for the most part, the upgrades and analyst support are pretty positive for Barrick. Also like to take a look at seasonality. Um, for that, we go to equityclock.com, an amazing site. Love this site. The seasonal chart for Barrick is wonky. Uh, this is the month of June that we're coming into now, so it does have that uptick, but I would not interpret this as uptrending for sure. Just wanted to include it for you because we always look at seasonality here at Chart of the Day Cafe. Um, also going to include this Motley Fool article uh, that came out recently on Barrett Gold. Gives you a little more information. There's a lot of pros and cons. Gold is pretty controversial. But if you believe in gold, this is a pretty attractive area to keep an eye on here. I will be keeping an eye on it in the days and weeks to come, looking for that positive lift higher and perhaps getting that three and eight cross. And so to summarize, we looked at the Russell index, which we use as our proxy for the market overall. And we can see that for the most part, the IWM, the Russell is in an uptrend and up and over the eight day EMA ever so slightly on the daily chart. We looked at uh, the GLD, which is the ETF for gold. We can see that it's in an uptrend on the two year chart and at an area of possible support and lift. Same thing with ABX, uptrend on the two-year chart, and it's come into an area of possible support and lift. It's got an excellent value score, excellent growth score with a forecasted earnings growth rate going forward of 35%, dividend yield of 0.98%. It does not have that 3 and 8 cross yet, so it's early. We're putting it on our watch list a little bit early. We certainly want to see lift from here, but like to have my homework done before I see that lift. Seasonality, we're not going to check that either because we looked at the seasonal chart. It's a little bit wonky so that we don't have that necessarily in our favor on this chart. But we went to Finviz, we looked at uh, analyst support and we can see that uh, it's had several upgrades of late. Current PE of 16.22 and earnings have not been announced yet. In addition to our new watch list pick, I also wanted to flag for you another symbol. It's a past chart of the day cafe pick that I think looks interesting here. It's Activision Blizzard, ticker symbol ATVI. We're looking at it on the two-year weekly chart. We put it forward in June of 2016. This is the weekly chart, so we were flagging it on the daily, but it had this beautiful run-up from there. Came in, we flagged it again in December of 2016. It had this nice run from there, and I think it looks interesting in this area as well. I checked the scores on it this morning. I'm going to go from the weekly to the daily. So here's how the daily looks. If it gets some price uh, strength coming in today and stays above that eight day EMA, I think Activision Blizzard still looks interesting here. Again, check the scores. The value score is still nice and high where I want to see it. It's got a forecasted earnings growth rate going forward of 21% still. Uh, current PE of 27.49 and a slight dividend yield of 0.59%. So keep an eye on Activision Blizzard. With that, I will leave you. Have a great next couple of days and we'll put our next video out on Thursday.